you fat and brisket. Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're cooking up some smoked ring neck pheasant at the pit. And it's real easy to do. That's what I said. Smoked ring neck pheasant. And if you've never had pheasant before, you definitely got to check this out. So for this recipe, we've got some ring neck pheasant. We've got some Worcestershire sauce. We got some soy sauce. We have some buttermilk. We have some of our poultry powder seasoning. Use your favorite seasoning. We've got some uh, hot sauce. That's optional in this recipe. You're going to need some breadcrumbs. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. This is going to be good. Uh, you're going to need a tenderizer, such as this little device for poking holes. You're going to need some bacon. Here we've got some eggs. And, of course, haha, there's a little bit of bourbon, right? All right. Now, let's put this together. Now, the first thing we want to do is tenderize this pheasant because it's not the most tender kind of poultry you'll get, right? I mean, there's no fat. It's extremely lean. It's more lean than chicken, which means that um, it can be a little tough. But it's simple to uh, tenderize it. Use a tenderizing tool like this. It pokes little holes in it, right? just like that. This will allow the uh, marinade to get inside to help tenderize it. Perfect. And then, um, then we're going to take some buttermilk. And we use buttermilk because it is a tenderizer. It's got the enzymes in it that will break down the proteins in the meat and help tenderize it. That's an old trick that goes back decades, right? You probably know all about that. Just pour it right in there. And what we're going to do here is uh, soak these four or five hours or even preferably overnight. This will allow the enzymes to gently break down the proteins in there and it's far better than using a lemon uh, marinade or anything like that. Just use some buttermilk. So in the miracle of time, it's been overnight, the sun is rising, it's time to get that ring neck pheasant on the grill. Oh, this is what it's all about. All right, now, like I said, Using the buttermilk will get you great results on tenderizing. It won't overcook the meat protein either. And if uh, some of you know what we mean by overcooking with a marinade, it can ruin the meat you want to eat. <laughs> so uh, we're going to place them on a pan here. And while we're waiting for the pit master to get this done, we're going to... Um, we're going to tell you a little bit about what a pheasant is, and some of you have no clue. Now, of course, this is uh, a hunter's favorite, these wild pheasant. This here is fresh-caught wild pheasant. Had some real good eating at the pit. And if you're privileged to be a hunter or know a hunter, <laughs> you definitely got to check this out. I'm telling you, man. This here is very lean. These here are vegetarian birds. They eat nothing but seeds, grass. Eh, they eat bugs, so eh, partial vegetarian. But this is some fine eating. No antibiotics, stimulants, or anything like that, right? Like you might find in a chick. So uh, when you can get yourself a chance to eat some pheasant, you can be assured you're eating some of the best poultry ever. And the pheasant came from actually uh, China and Asia, way back in the day. And they've been in the States since the late 1800s. So anyway, back to what we're doing. In the bag, we're going to be making another marinade. So we've uh, put in some Worcestershire sauce in there, some soy sauce. We put some hot sauce. And of course, we're going to bless it with a little bit of fine bourbon in there. That's for the marinade again and the pit mask. Right. So with the eggs, you give everything a good shake. And you throw those pieces of ring neck in there. We've got uh, breast meat. We've got leg. we got thigh. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you. Now, some of you might be asking, well, is uh, pheasant gamey? Uh, sometimes. Uh, but generally... Most people won't notice it because of freshness, right? 
But uh, adding these additional flavors like we have, of course, they will not detect any gaminess. All right. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. All right. So now we took some breadcrumbs, and now, of course, you want to season the breadcrumbs. So we're taking our Pit Boys poultry powder, and uh, you can use your favorite seasoning, whatever you like, right? But uh, you can get some of our poultry powder, including our other spices and rubs on our website and we appreciate your support anytime you uh, make a purchase it helps us and our chapters right we've got about 18,000 now in over 100 countries and we'd be proud to have you if you stop on by and uh, start your own chapter so as you can see here this is same old same old we're just taking those pieces of poultry or pheasant in there and getting it into that breadcrumb <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I'm telling you, this is awesome. No time to rush. As you can see with this video, there's no fast food going on here. You take your time to enjoy the good things in life, and your family and friends will love it too. Right? Perfect. All right, all the pieces have been breaded, and now we're going to take some bacon and we're going to use it to add additional fat to this pheasant All right. and like I was saying it's very very lean it's leaner than chicken so a little additional fat while she's cooking will help and also add additional flavor right if you're using smoked bacon oh, oh man all right So we've got a um, we've got a ceramic grill going on here, uh, similar to almost any other grill you'll use. And we're going to wrap each piece with a half a half a slice of bacon, just like that. And we're going to do a slow cook. We'll have the temperature of about 250 degrees Fahrenheit, certainly no higher than 275. We want to low and slow it here. Cook it slow. It'll help keep it tenderized. Oh yeah, perfect. And then occasionally get yourself some apple juice, apple cider, water. Give it a spray. Just adds a little moisture to it. Keeps the humidity up, and it'll help with the cook. All right, not long to go. Oh yeah! Oh, can you smell that? It smells good. <laughs> so we're just checking the internal temperature here. Just about done. Not long to go. Oh, all right. Just take a look at that. It smells good. I'm telling you. Time to take it off the grill. One piece at a time. Now, if you don't have ringneck pheasant, of course, you can use a chicken, a yard bird, but, but I'm telling you, use this recipe on your ringneck pheasants or on your wild turkey. Goes perfect. Oh, man. So, um, this is the part where the pit master is going to eat in front, and he's going to give some to the cameraman, too, I see. And he's not going to apologize. Mm. It's good. Now, to get the recipe and all the ingredients, head on over to our website. You'll be able to print it out. And, of course, so the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com.